Okay, question two asks us to work out dy by dx, change in y, change in x, which is differentiation. So, nice easy one. All we do is multiply by the power and reduce by the, the power by one. So, three times five is 15, and the x cubed goes to x squared. That's a minus, so let's leave it as a minus. Two times four is eight, x to the power of one. Because two reduces to one, I'll just leave it as x. It would have been fine to put x to the power of one. That nice and easy for question two, that's done. Uh, question three asks us to work out the length of PQ. So this is Pythagoras because there's no angles involved. So let's find the difference in the y values. Uh, 6 to 2 is a difference of 4 and 1 to 9 is a difference of 8. We're trying, we're trying to find the longer side so that is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. We're adding because we're finding the long side. If we're finding one of the shorter sides we'll subtract. Nice and easy this one we're adding. So let's put the numbers in. c squared is pq in this case. pq squared equals 4 squared plus 8 squared. A and B can be either way, doesn't matter. Right, I'll go straight ahead and work the next part out before I put it in the calculator. If the opposite of square root something is square root, so PQ on its own is the square root of 4 squared plus 8 squared. And let's just put this in the calculator. Let's have a look. Did this earlier. Let's try this one. Square root, 4 squared plus 8 squared equals 4 root 5 is an exact answer, 4 root 5. But the question says round that off to three significant figures. So let's press the SD button and three significant figures. We've got 8.944, so it's 8.94 equals 8.942. 3SF. And that's those two done.